Hello survivors and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are playing on one of your favorite characters, it is the Assassin. We will be doing a video in the future on your other favorite character, the Legionnaire. But in this video I'm going to show you that the new weapons on the Assassin actually makes him one of the S or S tier or an A, at least an A, I would say an S tier pick for a character in high tier or high curse runs. Now his new weapon, the Jet Grenadier's Mark, uh, gives us debilitating bomb and it also gives us fan of bombs as the secondary unique skill. Runes we're gonna go for critical mastery, weapon expert so we can get his secondary skill in the beginning and start leveling it, uh, executioner, multicast mastery as well as generalist. You can actually do this without generalist and the executioners. You could go purity and focus fire, it works well as well, but we're gonna do it like this just for today anyway. And we can actually go into the corner. So what happens is a debilitating bomb applies fragility. It does have a little bit of like a shotgun effect where if it hits something, everything behind it in that explosion gets hit as well. So let's show you like that over there. It does hit multiple enemies as long as they're in a certain area of the skill. And then our fan of bombs shoots a whole fan or a circular a bomb around us which then deals more damage based on how many weakness as well as fragility stacks our opponents have so that means a bomb build on the assassin playing with the grenadiers Gren grenadiers mark is actually fantastic so what we're going to be looking for in this build is going to be uh, obviously debilitating bomb and fan of bombs we're then going to be looking for bloodlust for the cast frequency as well as the movement speed and then we're going to be looking for bomb barrage and avalanche as well if you haven't received avalanche yet you do need to just do the holiday event in the ice map and kill bramble so that you are able to get avalanche i do have a video on my channel that will allow you to do that so you can just go have a look at that on the channel if you want a video guide on how to do it. But we're going to get rid of Leviathan. We are going to focus on a lot of cast frequency. They already have a low cast frequency on debilitating bomb. But obviously we do want a lot more fragility out there. As well as a lot of uh, weakness. So we do want to have that as much as possible. We can go Thunderclap here as well because of the Disoriented. It makes it so that there's an increased chance for critical strikes as well as uh, enemies to take critical damage as well. So Thunderclap, very good. It also has a stun effect. So very, very good there as well. We can get rid of the armor, go there, and then a multi chance on the fan of bombs is fantastic now the nice thing about fan of bombs is it doesn't remove the fragility effect or the weakness effect it just deals damage like our subdue where the more stacks you have the more damage it the more extra damage it deals so i really really like the skills like this and they're just fantastic to have around so we don't need heart rending strike or poison bomb and we're just going to focus on a lot of the fragility as well as the other skills so we do want the fragility over here and we're happy to keep that and we don't want the cluster bomb but we do want our uh, bomb barrage which i don't see just yet so hopefully there we go fantastic so more fragility and now we have weakness as well from bomb barrage we just need our bloodlust as well and we will be in a fantastic spot sixth skill it doesn't really matter too much again we do have what we are looking for uh gosh there's still that little bit of a graphical glitch in the game whenever you dash i don't know if it's because of a skill you're using or what the case may be but it's there we're just destroying these over here let's move over uh, i think we're in quite a tough little spot over here we'll just grab a shrapnel bomb it will be replaced later on and we can grab a vicious strike and then a lightning bolt as well i don't have any more rerolls so we kind of got to just go with what's strong we lightning bolt very very strong and uh you know the the bleed and we don't need it we will replace that 
but lightning bolt can be quite a decent skill especially as a option for your sixth skill especially since it does provide dazed as a an alternative so we are actually going to level it up because i think we can keep it and uh, oh no we were doing avalanche so we actually don't need the lightning bolt i completely forgot about having avalanche in our build so you know that's helpful as well okay we are going to grab the cost frequency on thunderclap and as you can see the chaos bringer is already nearly dead that's because of our beautiful multicast chance on fan of bombs as well as the fact that we just deal a whack ton of uh, fragility so we are hoping to get this slow two fragility in hypothermia that was the whole point of grabbing avalanche and then we've got bomb barrage which is what we wanted and then we are still looking for the bloodlust obviously not having it's not the end of the world and we can just keep going from there all right but as you can see we do more than enough damage to the bosses and to everything around us because fan of bombs is a very area like a very big area of effect for everything around us except for if they like walk through the middle of it <laughs> uh, it's, it's just a really good skill so again we're going to keep the uh, skills active just so that we can keep uh, the option there so that we can still get our uh the bloodlust but otherwise we're gonna focus on a little bit of slow for the fragility that comes later with hypothermia and we're also gonna just make sure that we work on cast frequency and some critical strike as well we do have the lightning bolt as well as the <coughs> uh, thunderclap so we don't necessarily need to work on crit because it will be over by the time uh, things start but if we were playing on uh, trying to get to a higher overlord run or endless run then that is something you could focus on more and go into as you level up higher and higher but for just a curse 7 run just a single run you don't have to focus on the, cur uh, the crit so much because you've already got the dazed and you've already got the disorientate as well from that another thing is with the assassin you don't have to worry too much about the movement speed either although it is very nice because you do have the triple dash from the start so being able to dash three times is a survival tactic instead of the movement speed but obviously if you have more movement speed it is going to be better for your survival if you aren't that great at dodging also again for surviving the high curses as you can see i am walking around in a clockwise or anti-clockwise manner it doesn't matter which one you pick but even when i dodge i dodge in a circular pattern around the bosses because we don't want to stand still and hit them you want to be continuously moving so that when you are uh, in a troublesome spot you don't have to worry about the moving around too much now do we get rid of thunderclap i think we do just because this is more of a melee than the others are so we aren't going to be very close to the bosses and again we did want the bloodlust so we are going to be grabbing that instead grab more fragility we can't turn this off now we did get our bloodlust so now we can focus on our cast frequency as well as the damage from our different skills so we do want cast frequency there so we will lock it in place and now we've got everything set up we no longer need the movement speed because the more potency and cast frequency we get uh, the sooner bloodlust is going to just give us all the movement speed that we want so we're not too worried about that unless it is like a red movement speed and there's nothing better to upgrade for with then we will grab it but otherwise we're in a very good spot where we don't have to worry too much about the movement speed option in our level ups. All right, I did want to destroy these towers, but we did get uh, the spawn for all the bosses. As you can see, the pylons or the towers, or whatever you want to call them, do get destroyed very, very quickly, especially when you do hit them with the debilitating bomb, as well as fan of bombs like immediately 
they die very very quickly all right so we do just want to again keep running around the bomb uh, the bombs the bosses while we keep our cursor on them so that the snow uh, avalanche as well as the bomb barrage does land on them as much as possible therefore applying as much fragility as well as the other debuffs that we may have on our character at the time so your build won't necessarily have exactly what mine does but just try to focus on what we've got again you do if you don't have the skills just yet and you don't have the re-rolls try to focus on the hard damage skills that give you uh, buffs and, and all the enemy debuffs like your lightning bolt uh, a thunder claps good as well because of the stun and the disorient uh, you can go for a lot of other skills like that as long as they have some form of debuff or effect to them that's going to help you deal damage you can keep them but try not to keep the levels on them because you don't want to waste your level ups for them all right, so we can grab some expansive over here, get more crit, we are on 50%. Potency for this and damage for our lightning bolt is fantastic. Now, like I said, our sixth skill was the lightning bolt because of dazed and we do have the critical mastery. So our crit uh, does go to our critical damage chance. So our crit chance becomes crit damage and therefore the daze does help with that as well because, well, you know, just more crit it doesn't help with the ruin but it does help us get to a higher crit chance so all right we do see quite a bit of area of effects on the floor now again you just want to keep dodging around in a circle keeping a fair distance away from the bosses so that you can dodge their aoe's and that you can dodge all of their, uh, you know, attacks on you, especially like the flamethrower, as well as the laser beam that uh, you get from Prophetess. It's just going to help you to survive. Gives you time to pick up all the crystals. We're running around. It does keep all the enemies as well, kind of in a safe space around you as well. And then you can just walk through there, grab a, a couple of levels get some damage, some doom, some more damage and more crit. So very good spot we in and we are just dealing tons and tons of damage to everything around us. So just a good example is there that pylon was and there it isn't anymore. And obviously the more chance of us providing fragility, the more damage we're gonna be dealing to everything around us. Another idea could be taking Blade Storm, getting it to proc your hypothermia if you could get that going as well. That might be something better for higher level endless runs or overlord where you use the Blade Storm to proc uh, hypothermia and then you'll have the fan of bombs dealing the damage from the stacks of uh, fragility on the enemies. So that is another idea that you could go for. Uh, maybe it's something we can do as well at a later stage just to show you how it would work compared to what we currently have going for us so just an idea okay dodge past the laser beam there if you don't have a dodge and you run into it it will hurt you quite a lot we do have a lot of tornadoes around us that is from the desert elementals that spawn now on the map it's just an added extra of uh, you know destruction and things that we need to dodge not a, such a fan of it but it's okay it's not the end of the world we could go kill them uh, because as you can see they are killing us so we are actually going to have to think of a plan here i do need to just find them on the map to kill because that is just horrible but one boss is nearly down. We don't have a lot of work to do for this. There we go, one down. Less to get killed. We did actually kill all those uh, other elemental creatures that spawned all of the tornadoes. We still have another laugh. So this it looks like it is a win in the bag. Not the fastest of times, but it is what it is. 
Uh, it's not really about the time, it's more about just surviving and living. Uh, let's go over here, just go flat damage because we are near the end and it uh, doesn't really matter what we get now. It is kind of over regardless. So there we go, everything's dead. And I just wanted to see something as well because we have been trying to find out stuff about the void essence as well. I uh, haven't seen any landing up in here, but did we get any over here? No, we never. So I need to find out some stuff about the void essence and why it's not dropping or how it drops. If you guys do know, you can let me know down in the comment section. But otherwise, I will be asking a little bit of Nomad or some of the other guys on the Discord server if they know much about it. Because I haven't seen it. I don't see it in my material collection either. So I'm not sure if it's moved or if there's something else about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as we can see, fan of bombs and debilitating bomb. Fantastic skills to use. And... I hope you all have a great, had a great weekend, have a great Sunday, and always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.